guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty. We're gonna talk about, this is a request, how to finish grade in an excavator. So most of the time, you're not gonna be finish grading in an excavator uh, unless you have some extenuating circumstances like you don't have a dozer on site or a skid steer or you're doing a really tight area. Um, this particular setup, as you can see, is not really geared towards finish grading. We have, uh, we have actually chisel teeth on here instead of the big spades. Uh, or ideally what you'd want to finish grade with is an actual ditching bucket with a totally smooth bottom. So all that being said, we will at least talk about the mechanics behind finish grading. So the first thing you're going to want to do is learn to master a flat pass. And what you do, the way I would recommend you do this, I'm set up with cat controls, which means that this hand is my stick, this hand is my boom. And so when I do passes in my excavators, what I generally do is I will pull back at a constant rate with my stick and then I adjust the height with my boom. So we're gonna start by pulling both controls back. The stick is gonna stay consistent and I'm going to change my boom speed to match. And you can see I pulled that towards me and it's nice and flat. So again, I'm using my boom speed to control what's happening here. And what happens is as the stick gets closer into 90 degrees, you start out having to boom up kind of fast, but the closer you get to 90 degrees, and we'll look at this, at the mechanics behind this. So when I start to stick in, and my stick is way out there right now, you're gonna notice it comes down a lot. But right about here, it starts to slow down. We're almost to 90 degrees. Notice how it's not dropping nearly as fast. It kind of levels out for a second at 90 degrees, and then it starts to come back up towards the machine. So what we're having to do is match that arc with our boom. So you're gonna notice this hand, I'm gonna pull back pretty good at, in the beginning, but as I get closer to that 90 degree mark, it's actually gonna go back to the neutral position on my boom because I don't need to boom up that fast. So let me kind of show you that. So I'm starting with a fair amount of boom, but now I'm starting to ease out of it. So boom up fair amount, start knees out of it. And so that's how you make flat passes. And in all honesty, this is just gonna take a lot of practice. It helps when you actually have your tracks level so you're not bucking back and forth, obviously. But this is, this is one of the learned skills in an excavator. It's one of the ones that's gonna take you probably the longest to learn is how to dig level passes because it is a, it is a difficult thing to do when you're just starting out. So once you master how to do a level pass, now let's talk about actually grading. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to establish your grade. And I want this, we're gonna call this, I'm gonna pull a grade here. We're gonna just, we're just gonna say, that's what I want my grade to be right here. Let me clean it up a little. So that's what I want grade to be. So we wanna be able to match that. But in order to do that, we have to see where our bucket's at. So when I'm finished grading, I will only take about a half bucket per pass. And that way, as material builds up, I can still see the left edge of my bucket to know where I'm at relative to grade. And so as I continue to match that, and we're gonna get really heavy on our material here, so I may even take a quarter of a bucket because that material is gonna build up. But it lets me see my grade, and we can chase that grade. The other thing I'll do, and we're in, this is a prime example, we're getting in a real heavy material here, I'm gonna actually take a cleanup pass. And I'm gonna get a lot of that material out of here. And get it relatively close, and all I'm worried about, I'm not worried about making it nice and flat and smooth and even. I'm just worried about getting that material out of my way. And now I can go back, that I can see my teeth. We'll go back to our half bucket pass. And we're gonna do another nice clean pass. Scoot over about a half bucket. We're light on material. And you can dip. It's very easy to dip in the very beginning when you're setting your hands. That's super quick, little flick, and we're gonna try that one again. Nice level pass. And you can see how we're able to see our grade. And this works going the other way too, so there's a low spot back there. So I'm gonna take it here, I'm gonna look at the back side of my teeth there, and you can push material. Now in other circumstances, 
Uh, you don't want to do this when it's super heavy on material because this does strain your, your stick pin a fair amount. But if you just want to kind of dust this area off, we're sitting level and you want to dust it off, you can take your bucket nice and level and flat. You don't want to put a bunch of down pressure because you're going to dig. So you want to just where it's kind of skimming the top and then we can just sweep that material. And so, you know, here we are with an excavator. No leveling, no leveling tools, no GPS. And we've got a nice flat area that you can use for whatever you want. And so if we want to scoop this material, just kind of come in a little level and you can do a little sideways pass, swipe it clean. Again, the key here is making sure your bucket's level so that you're matching the grade. And there you go, we have a nice level area. Now I could scoop my excavator back and we could keep going at it. That's all there is to it. So that's the basics of leveling in an excavator, kind of finish grading in an excavator. It's all about taking your time, uh, making sure that you do kind of a half overlapping passes so that you always have a reference point somewhere on your bucket so that you're not doing a bunch of undulations in your grade. And visually seeing that is also gonna help you dig nice and flat as well. So. As always, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions for me, if you have any comments or another technique uh, as an existing operator in the industry, absolutely comment down below. You guys have a good one and we'll catch you on the next video.